hi all welcome to the video uh, in the last video we looked at how to identify anomaly and develop the logic when we just have a single categorical variable and the thing is let's say if we have multiple categorical variables we will use the same approach and we will just look at an example to understand it a bit better so let's say we have a data frame where we have product and region columns as we can see both are categorical in nature so how do we identify anomaly so again we we'll take product which is the first categorical column we will identify total count of records against each individual value then we will identify the relative frequency and the second categorical column is region we will do the same thing we will identify frequency against each individual value of region and then we will identify relative frequency and subsequently what we will do we will identify we will basically create log of these relative frequencies for both product and region and then map it back to the main table so you see for product score 1 indicates log of these relative frequencies and for region score 2 indicates log of these relative frequencies now what we have essentially done is we have taken the two categorical column and then we have used relative frequencies and log to create a score now there are two scores one for product and one for region now we can just use an arithmetic mean to consolidate it this will basically result in a score column now just by looking at the score column we can definitely see that the maximum value or the ma most negative value is minus 3.8 and this looks like a very high negative score and hence we can definitely say that this is looking more like an anomalous observation or anomalous record now the main gist of the entire thing is you know no matter how many categorical columns you have you basically take each categorical column create relative frequency take log of it and create a score column then you do it basically for all the categorical columns once you have scores for all these columns you just do an arithmetic sum and then what you can do is let's say if currently it has only 7 records but if let's say it has million records you can take the highest 5 percentile right and where you will have maximum negative records or uh, records with most negative scores and this is basically the observations which which are basically the rarest of rarer combination because you know obviously if if the relative frequency is less the log of that relative frequency will be very high so it is a rarest of rarest record and basically then we say that you know this does not occur very frequently and hence we say that this looks like an anomalous observation i hope this video was useful to you in the next video we'll look at how we can derive this logic in r and then we'll also look at how we can use this logic on a small data set as well as a data set with millions of records if this video was useful to you do like my video and subscribe to my channel